first, you or Jane? There was no need for an apology. It was only a discussion. Discussion? I was surprised to see you both alive this morning. The trouble with you, Jacko, is you simply don't understand married life. That's why I don't look as haggard as you. <laughs> My boy Bill, he'll be tall and as tough as a tree. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm keeping count of the number of times you've sung that bloody song since Jean told you she was pregnant. <laughs> so far, it's 367 times. It is not. I wonder what he'll think of me. I guess he'll call me the old man. Shut up! <laughs> hey, say, what if it's a girl? This rate should be fatherless. <laughs> Pull him over there. What for? I want to buy something. Oh, thanks ever so much, Jacko. That's ah. really thoughtful. That's all right. You won't call him Lionel the second, will you? Yeah. It's a girl. How'd you know? She told me. <laughs> Cup of tea? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Well, now I've ingratiated myself. Do you fancy coming out to dinner tonight? Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm training. Well, you can't lift huge weights with that bad hand. Football training. Oh. oh, go on then, laugh. Women playing football, almost as funny as watching ducks landing on frozen lake. <laughs> no, I think it's terrific. I love football. I support Charlton. I thought you said you love football. <laughs> oh. Do you play for a proper team? Yeah, of course I do. Sunday mornings, Mottsburg Park Mosquitoes. I bet you're the striker. I got 36 goals last season. Did you? Mm. I suppose your team's got a physio already, is it? Yes. <laughs> and she's fully qualified. Worth a try. <laughs> How long did your training go on for? Well, we like to get at least a good couple of hours in. Very professional. Mm. I'll take you for a drink after that, shall I? Oh, um, well, that's not really a very good idea. I think you like that budgie more than me. <sighs> no. It's just that we usually all have a drink together after training, you see. Well, I won't be distracted. <laughs> I'll only have eyes for you. It's not that. Well, what is it then? Well, did you ever play football? Yeah. The animal, they used to call me. <laughs> <laughs> well, when your team was all together, go on, be honest, you didn't exactly encourage wives and girlfriends along now, did you? No, I suppose not. Vice versa? Good Lord. Well, I'll just have to stay at home and do me knitting, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, mate. On your own. Well, you know Helga, don't you? <laughs> you still brooding over Paulette? Who? I don't remember any Paulette. You slung her out a week ago. Oh, her. She's turned you into a misogynist, she has. No, she hasn't. As a matter of fact, I was interested in pot plants before I met her. <laughs> oh. Now, you mark my words, you're better off sitting here without a woman, Jacko. Am I? Oh, yeah, be all right for the moment, her uh, sitting with you, skirt up to her armpits, eyelashes fluttering. <laughs> yeah, that would be quite nice, yeah. <laughs> but, but, all the time, she's waiting for you to drop your guard so that she can turn you into me. <laughs> Is she a conjurer? Break your heart, I mean. Now you're better off on your own. Thank you. Why are you on your own? Ah! Sir, sir! You've enhanced my establishment again! <laughs> Priceless as ever, Elmo. That's understood between us, sir. Not a penny piece do you pay in here. Hello, Elmo. Uh, good evening, Madam Smythe. <laughs> the 
Let me show you to a tape. Uh, Leslie! Leslie! Oh, she must have gone a bit deaf. Hello, Jacko. Hello, Gloria. Mm. How's life? Stupendous. <laughs> On your own? Yeah, yeah. Hello, Charles. How super to see you again. We were hoping we might catch you. Well, what brings you up here, then? You're going to buy London? <laughs> oh, I wish I could think of quips like that. No, actually, we just uh, popped up to town for a couple of days to do a spot of shopping. Uh, I need a shooting stick and a new dicky. <laughs> and uh, Gloria needs some fresh togs, too. Oh, Giles, I do wish you'd stop buying me things. Well, what are we all going to have to drink? Well, it's a, it's a question of attracting attention, Giles. Shut! Get up there! Well, are you finally ready to order? Oh, you've got yourself a job, Leslie. Good show. Bottle of champagne, please. Certainly. It's so lovely to see the old smiling faces again, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, shame a few more of the old crowd aren't in. We could have had a spot of a regimental reunion. I tell you what, Jarzy, what about, say, Saturday lunchtime? Oh, that's a brilliant idea, Pumpkin. Gloria has become totally indispensable to me, you know, Jacko. She thinks of ideas like that so quickly. She's as sharp as a knife, isn't she, eh? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll put the word around. Saturday be great. You'll say take it yourself once too often, you will! Of course, we, we would have looked some people up tonight, but we're running a bit late because of the Jim Carner. So we'll just have to push on and find our digs. Digs? Digs, sir? You can stay here. I've got a lovely spare bedroom upstairs. It's got little lights set in the ceiling that look like stars and a water bed with a luminous man in the moon set into the headboard. <laughs> Try turning that down. <laughs> well, that's awfully kind of you, Elmo, but we are actually booked in at the Ritz. The Ritz? Oh, I understand. I, I see, sir. Uh, uh, thanks, anyway. <laughs> it should be a jolly good little party on Saturday. Party? Oh, no, of course you'll be having that at the Ritz, won't you? Absolutely not. Here, if it's all right with you. All right, sir. It's wonderful. I knew me catering had come of age someday. And, excuse me, sir, I've got to start planning. <laughs> so how are you then, Jacko? Me? Well, I'm fine. It's so bizarre seeing you on your own. It's not bizarre at all. Darling. I don't know what you're saying to me, Charles. <clears throat> Sin mujer, pumpkin. I still don't know what you're saying to me, John. Well, nor do I come to that. Well, if a chap is temporarily girlfriendless, one shouldn't push. I am not girlfriendless, Giles. I'm going out with a very nice girl at the moment. Oh, good. I'd hate to think your energies had deserted you. Well, they haven't, Gloria. Her name's Lynn. And I like to think that we're at the beginning of a very nice, long, meaningful relationship. Where is she, then? Well, she's football training at the moment, if you must know. <laughs> oh, I say. What are you doing out there? Where's my football kit? Football kit? Yes. How well, should I know where it is? You haven't played in six years. Oh, is it as long ago as that? Yeah. Don't you remember? It was the season that tall bloke from the fish and chip shop took over as captain. I remember him. Name of Surridge. He didn't know a thing about football, that bloke. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Time for some of the older players to make way for new blood. Man was a fool. Yeah. He dropped me and all. <laughs> they won the league that season, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, I think they did. Where's my football kit? Well, I don't know. What do you want it for, anyway? Well, Lynn wants to do some shooting practice, and I said I'd go and go for her. All right, what's so funny? <laughs> it's the only way you can get her to go out with you. It's in the loft. That's where I put it. Well, I ring the hospital and put the heart unit on alert. <laughs> it's only a kickabout. She's only a girl. Oh, so much for the new man. Jean, it's simply the biological difference in muscularity. 
You see, girls can't generate the same velocity as men. <laughs> Eric's right. It's a fact. It's not a put-down. Now, I'll let a few in to begin with, you know, build up her confidence. <laughs> It's coming, it's coming. Yeah. Very good. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just fell a bit badly, that's all. Oh, perhaps we'd better stop. Ho -ho! No, look, look. You have a little breather and we'll carry on afterwards. Oh, yeah, all right, then I'll have a little breather. You play like this on Sunday and you'll massacre them. Oh, not necessarily. We're one short. We're scratching around for players as it is. You don't know any girls, do you? One or two, yes. Do any of them play? <laughs> Football, I mean. Well, not that I know of, but I'll ask. I'll definitely ask. Oh, well, we really are desperate. As long as she's breathing and willing to have a go, really. Well, that the sort. Oh, thanks. Anyway, you all right for a few more before it gets dark? Absolutely. Go on. Right, now. Don't forget what I told you. You keep your knee over the ball. Right. Right. <laughs> Sandra. Right. Now. Kick that. Go on. Why? Just kick it. Right, Sandra. <laughs> you are a natural footballer. <laughs> Now, Lynn's team is one short on Sunday. Do you want a game? No, I don't. I can't play football. Sandra, it's in your genes. You're from the North East. Jackie Milburn, Jackie Charlton, Bobby Charlton, Gaza. You may not have noticed, Jackal, but they are all men. You're denying your heritage? I'm not interested. Can I see you a minute, Jacko? Uh, yes. Yes, boss. I want to ask you something. Can I ask you something first? Will you add that? <laughs> Why? Well, Lynn's team are one short on Sunday and I wondered if you wanted a game. You play? No, they're all women. That should shoot you down to the ground. <laughs> no, Marcello would like it, Veronica. You know, dreams of Inter Milan. They're dirty worse to Marcello. He comes from Sicily. <laughs> It'd be a laugh. I can think of better things to do for a laugh. How is Marcello? May I ask my question now? Oh, go on then. Well, it's about Sandra. It's serious. After breaking up with Jimmy, she, she's so down, poor kid. She needs cheering up. Yes, yeah, she is. What you got in mind? Well, me, Marcello, you and Sandra. If we had a nice evening out together, perhaps we could get a laughing again. You're a kindly soul, Veronica. Even if you won't play football on Sunday. You wouldn't have a Saturday free, would you? Well, what about this one? That easy. I thought we'd have to book you months in advance. <laughs> oh, I'm free. It's all right. What about Lynn? Well, she plays football on a Sunday, so she has to get a kit ready, you know. Have a light meal and an early to bed. And I respect it. Yeah, I bet you don't like it, though. Are you going to speak to Sandra or not? Yes, of course. Oh, Gloria and Joel's are up for a few days. They're having a party at Elmo's Wine Bar Saturday. Priceless. Yes. Well, we four can go on from there. Lovely. Sandra, would you come in a minute, please? At Elmo's, you say? Where else? Oh, quite. I was just thinking how thrilled Leslie will be to see them. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Bainbridge? What about me and Marcello and you and Jacko going out together on Saturday? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, come on, Sandra. Nice meal, few laughs. No, thank you. Well, go on. We're lovable people. Jacko, I've said no, thank you. All right, all right, all right. But there could have been an ice cream in Sunderland's colours in it for you. If that's all, Mrs. Beanbridge. No, it is not all, Sandra. It's not so long ago that you drove me mad in this office trying to make me go out with Marcello. Only because you were behaving as if you were about to collect your bus pass, Mrs. Beanbridge. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yes, you were. I'm young. I've got plenty of time. Yeah, all right. Don't keep on about age, Sandra. <laughs> I'm just not ready to be cheerful little Sandra again, that's all. Please, give it a try, eh? You're going to keep on if I say no, aren't you? Endlessly. And don't forget, I'm the boss, and I can order you to listen to me whilst I go on endlessly. All right, I'll come. But don't expect me to be sparkling company. All right, just try to glimmer a bit. <laughs> Lynn! 
Lizzie, come here, come here. What? Close your eyes, close your eyes. Why? It's a surprise. All right, but touch me and you're in deep trouble. I promise. <laughs> All right, they're closed. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's an ice sculpture. You made it, didn't you? I did, I did. Up all night with me hammer and chisel, I was. What's it supposed to be? A horse. It's my centrepiece for Giles. It's a sort of floral tribute in ice. The mind boggles. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> now, the thing is, do I put it on the table now, or do I wheel it out later as a conversation stopper? Conversation stopper? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fancy a game of football on Sunday, Leslie? Do I look as though I play football? As a matter of fact, you do. I take that as an insult. No, you shouldn't. You've got nice long legs, you've got slim hips, you're well balanced. You move, you move well all together. You seem to be very aware of me physically. I always have been, Leslie. You're not really talking about football at all, are you? Well, I was to begin with, yes. <laughs> well, I won't play. No, I didn't think you would. There are much better games to play than football anyway. Well, if you promise not to tell the chaps, I thoroughly agree with you. Have you ever thought of a return match? Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say it crossed my mind from time to time, yes. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. You ready for our nice day out? <laughs> oh, thank you. I can't wait, I can't wait. I've got to do me conversation stuff and now. <laughs> oh, shizzle, it's melted! Not overly intelligent leaving it by the radiator, was it? My horse, my horse! In your kingdom for a horse! <laughs> oh, never mind. No, no, never mind. I'll knock him out with a caviar instead. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone! <laughs> caviar with the compliments of me. <laughs> They're sandwiches. I oh, know. Any establishment can knock out little blobs of it on stupid little biscuits. With me, you get a proper gob for them. No. <laughs> You've certainly got style, Elmo. That's undeniable. Absolutely priceless. I suppose the next time we come, you'll serve truffles. You want some truffles, sir? <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that. No, truffles have been mentioned, so truffles you shall have. Let's see. Nip down a chocolate shop and get ten pound of chocolate truffles. Lacey, did you hear what I said? In the first place, truffles don't come from chocolate shops. They're fungi and pigs root for them with their snouts. Don't be preposterous. <laughs> do you think a gentleman like Jars would have anything to do with that sort of thing? And secondly, I wouldn't walk ten feet for that crew. Why? I don't like any of them. But well, one's your mother. I know. Acting like a pubescent schoolgirl with that aging gigolo. Giles has obviously lost the few brains he had by marrying that common bit of stuff. Well, you like Jacko. No, I don't. He's singularly lacking in taste, as you can see. Well, now you can't dislike Eric and Jean, though. No. Everyone likes Eric and Jean. All right. They bore me. They're two non-entities busy populating the world with further non-entities. <laughs> well, I'll nip down a chocolate shop myself, then. No, no, Jean is not playing football. Anyway, it wouldn't be fair. We'd have 12 on our side against their 11. <laughs> <laughs> Buy yourself a blonde wig and you turn out, Jacko. It's a shame my Aunt Sophia's not here. She would have played. She was one of Fan Tony's marvels. Yeah, but that was on stilts. She would have been good in the air, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, my dream is still to see Sandra whizzing down the wing. Well, you can forget it, because I'm not whizzing anywhere. I'll play. <laughs> would you, Gloria? Just wind up my big key, point me in the right direction, and I'm away. You ever played before, Gloria? No, but I'll do anything for a laugh. That's one of the reasons I love you so much, Pumpkin. Darcy, don't get private. Are you really on, Gloria? Yes. What colours do we wear? Well, it's uh, black shorts and uh, green and white top. <laughs> I don't think I can carry green off. Well, you can't expect a whole team to change colour just because you can't carry green off. 
No, no, it's okay. I'll do something with myself. <laughs> We'd better pop up to Lily White's this afternoon, Pumpkin. Get you some kit. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I don't think I want those shin things, though. They don't do anything for your legs, do they? They're not supposed to, Gloria. They're meant to protect them. Mm, no, I'm still dubious. <laughs> Here we are, sir. Truffles, as promised. Uh, anything wrong, sir? No, no. You actually went to the chocolate shop to get truffles? Which is where you and I know they come from, sir. <laughs> Unlike clever clogs at the bar, who only reckons there's something a pig stick up. The priceless! <laughs> exactly, sir! <laughs> To pancake, I hope yeah. this place cheers it up. I really do. Oh, you are a sweet man, not shall I? Oh, Cara. <laughs> oh, come on, Sandra, cheer up. I did warn you. I'm just not in a party mood. Paper. No, I haven't. My head's on back to front. <laughs> come on, Sandra, let's get you to bed. Don't want to go to bed. Yeah, come on, you best go to bed. Let's come on. dance. No, do no, do come do on, do let's do stop do it. Do come do on. Do <laughs> Sandra! <laughs> no, no, come on, Sandra. Now, we've already been now. Now, will you stop it? <laughs> now, come on, be a good girl. Be a good oh, girl. I don't want to be a good girl. Good little girls get all the praise, but the bad ones get all the fun. <laughs> Come on, come on, get in here. Come on, all right, get in here. Come on, lie down. Come on, here you go. Right. I've had a lovely evening, Jacko. Yes, I, I know, Sandra. Now, let go of my shirt, eh? Well, I'm a good girl, aren't I? Of course you are. Well, I'm fed up with it. I want to be wicked. Yeah, please go to sleep, eh? Do you want to be wicked? Hey, Come on, let's Sandra. be wicked. Listen, I'm only 16. The young ones, <laughs> darling, we All right, all right, all right. Sandra, stop. And the no, no, stop singing, please, for goodness sake. Now, if you were sober, this would be a different matter. That's my trouble. I'm not sober. Yeah. Come on. Come on, get your head down. Come on. Now. Now, you lie there and dream of Sunderland winning the FA Cup, eh? <laughs> I never saw Len Shackleton play, you know. <laughs> never mind, eh? Good night, mate. Jacko! Don't go. Hey, our trouble. I'm off to be football match. What are you still doing here? Well, I tried to leave, Sandra, but you kept overpowering me. Oh? It's all right, I slept on the chair. I made a complete fool of myself, didn't I? Yes. My nighty's on back to front. <laughs> that was one of the more sensible things you did. Oh, Jacko, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Nice people never have to be sorry. Am I a nice people? Your top drawer, Sandra. Better get off to me football, eh? You sure you don't want to play? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not refereeing. Oh, go on, Jacko. The proper one cried off. His wife probably found out it was ladies' football. Oh, please, Jacko. Oh, I'm patty in your hands, aren't I? Oi, Eric. 
Run a line for us, will you? Yeah, all right. I might start playing again, you know. And where were you last night? If I told you, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> aye, aye, the cavalry's arrived. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. We overslept. <clears throat> <laughs> Gloria's already changed. Seven. Right. What's your phone number? <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> look at Daddy, doesn't he look funny? <laughs> Me sending me off. I thought you were supposed to be on our side. I sent the other girl off as well. Yeah, well, she deserved it. <laughs> now come on, pumpkin. The game's the thing. I was only on there ten minutes. So you're never going to speak to me again because I showed you the red card, eh? Well, I might. I never could stay empty with you for long. <laughs> <laughs> You, um, you will be keeping your kit, won't you, Pumpkin? No, I think I'll give it away. I shan't be wearing it again. No, no, don't do that. Why? I think you look rather sweet in it. You rascal. <laughs> Come on, don't take it so hard. We were awful. We were diabolical. It was only three nil. It leaks like a sieve, our defence. It's only a game, isn't it? Never mind. Look, now what about this evening? Oh, no, look, I'm sorry. Well, you haven't got a match tomorrow. No, we've all got to get together and have a team talk about this defence. Oh, perhaps we should use a sweeper. Oh, I don't know. Some other time, hey, Jacko? What other time? I'm not. I'm not tired. Oh, yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> Good player, isn't she? Yes, yes, she's very good. Yeah, very nice good. girl. Seen her again? No, I don't think so, no. Why ever not? Well, to be quite honest, Jean, I think she thinks more of her football than she does of me. I love it. <laughs> Because of me. Because of me.